Please subscribe, like, and share. It really helps us out. And of course, if you have any questions, comment below and we will answer you as soon as we can. Welcome to another video in our series on IGCSE Geography. In today's lesson, we will be looking at managing natural resources. If you haven't seen our previous videos, click on the card above. Natural resources are naturally occurring things that are useful to us. They include fuels, minerals and timber. Non-renewable resources are fossil fuels such as coal and oil. Renewable resources include plants and animals, water and alternative sources of energy. Firstly, let's talk about global warming. Average global temperatures have risen by 0.6 degrees Celsius during the last 40 years. Some scientists say that global warming will raise average temperatures by 3 degrees Celsius. Global warming is caused by the greenhouse effect. There is debate over whether global warming is a natural event or caused by human activity. There is increasing evidence that burning of fossil fuels has a major effect. I am inclined to listen to the science here, which says global warming is man-made. Global warming has both advantages and disadvantages. Britain will be able to grow a greater range of crops. Warmer weather may help with the tourist industry. However, there will be increased dangers of coastal flooding, water shortages, pests and diseases. Globally, the melting of polar ice caps will cause many low-lying areas to flood. Droughts, storms and floods will become more frequent. At the 1992 Earth Summit in Brazil, there was a general agreement to reduce the amount of fossil fuels burnt. Rapid industrialization in newly industrialized countries, the economic interests of transnational companies, and the reluctance of the USA and most of the Western world to reduce its living standards means progress has been very slow. Secondly, let's talk about pollutants. CFCs are destroying the ozone layer that protects us from the sun's harmful ultraviolet radiation, mostly UVB rays. Large doses of UVB cause skin cancer, eye cataracts, crop damage and harm to plankton. There is an international agreement to reduce the production of CFCs. The reduction will take a very long time to take effect. Power stations and oil refineries release sulphur dioxide and nitrogen oxides into the atmosphere. These gases react with water in the atmosphere to produce acid rain. Forests, soils, lakes, rivers and buildings in Scandinavia have been badly affected by acid rain produced in the UK and Germany. International cooperation is required to reduce this effect. Thirdly, conserving energy resources. The need to satisfy the increasing demand for energy and water is the primary concern in resource management. Increasing population and the rapid development of technology means that these problems will continue into the future. Conservation and sustainability will be major considerations. In the future, fossil fuels will still be needed to produce energy. In the UK, there has been a large reduction in underground coal mining. Open cast mining is still important because it is cheaper than deep mining. It also provides jobs in areas of high unemployment. However, it is environmentally destructive. Landscaping can reduce this effect. Nuclear power requires very little raw materials and does not produce greenhouse gases or acid rain. It has become increasingly unpopular because of safety issues. The Chernobyl disaster and concerns about the Sellafield plant in the UK have affected public opinion greatly. 
Unlike the UK, France still regards nuclear power as an important source of energy. Alternatives or renewable sources of energy such as wind, tidal, solar, hydro and geothermal power may be the way forward. These two have advantages and disadvantages. Firstly, geothermal power. This is feasible where there are hot rocks caused by volcanic activity close to the surface. Secondly, wave power. There is great potential on the UK's stormy western coastlines. Small wave machines are already working well in Norway. Thirdly, tidal power. The UK has a large tidal range which could produce huge amounts of electricity from barrages across estuaries. Disadvantages include high capital costs. Next, solar power. Solar power can be used to heat water directly for domestic heating, to make steam to generate electricity, or to produce electricity directly by using photovoltaic cells. Lastly, hydropower. Hydroelectric power already produces nearly 2% of the UK's electricity. There are significant environmental costs, particularly where dams are used and valleys are flooded. Lastly, water resources. At present, the global demand for water doubles every 25 years. The reasons are world population growth, increasing use of irrigation, and increased consumption per person. This demand is unsustainable. Just 5% of the rain falling in the UK is used. In recent years, water shortages have become common. Global warming may be responsible for these droughts. Most of the rain falls in the north and west of the UK. The largest demand is in the south and the east. Rainfall is highest in winter, but the greatest demand for water is in the summer. Satisfying water demand is not easy. As well as maintaining supply, water companies have to ensure supplies are sustainable and do not damage the environment. They can increase water reserves by building more reservoirs. Water can be transferred from areas of plenty to areas of shortage. Conservation measures include plugging leaks in water distribution and metering water usage. Arid and semi-arid countries require large-scale solutions to water shortages. These are expensive, so less economically developed countries have to find money to fund sources. Water provision may be part of a multi-purpose scheme. The Aswan Dam in Egypt provides water for irrigation, domestic water supply and hydroelectricity. Demand for water can cause political disputes between countries. This can lead to war, as in the case of India and Pakistan. Questions that you can ask yourself or research further are What is the greenhouse effect? Name a greenhouse gas. State one effect of global warming. Why is Bangladesh particularly concerned about the effects of global warming? Name one effect of the hole in the ozone layer. How can acid rain affect buildings? Selby is the main coal field still mining coal underground. Where is Selby? What is the raw material used to produce nuclear energy? What is the disadvantage of taking more water from underground? Why does London get much of its water from underground? State three reasons why coal, despite being a polluting fossil fuel, continues to be mined in the UK. Why is Scandinavia particularly prone to the effects of acid rain? What are the causes of the thinning ozone layer? Thank you for watching our video. Please like, subscribe and share.
and comment below so we can clarify things for you.